Hey guys, good morning. It is Monday. And unlike last week and the week before, I have jobs this week. I have things scheduled this week, so I am greatly thankful for that. I'm not thankful that it's Monday though. <laughs> I guess it's uh it's inevitable. So let's make the best of it. Let's just do this. Let's do it. First car of the day is a headlight switch, oil pressure sending unit, a fuel filter, and inspect to see if their wiper switch is the correct part. So I just got through replacing their fuel filter, which on a carbureted vehicle, on this one here with the Quadrupuke, AKA Rochester Quadrajet, this would be a, uh, the fuel filter's right here. Crazy, huh? I'm kind of doing this for Shane too, because he's my customer and he's not here today. So this is kind of for him too. Uh, the oil pressure sending unit, has been replaced, it's right there. And the oil pressure is now indicated on the dashboard, which is perfect and great. I also replaced the uh, light switch. So we see that all the dash lights are lighting up now, right there, and this works right here, the fade. And headlights are working, they're not flashing. So that's good. We are headed home, uh, one and only appointment for the day is done. I had two appointments this morning, However, um, I wasn't able to find or acquire the parts for the other one. So that's on me. Um, well, more specifically, it's on the part companies, but it's an obsolete part. It's a fuel tank for a 2002 Chevy Suburban 1500. So yeah, they don't make them anymore. They don't make them anymore. Through the dealer, there's no new old stock available in the United States of America or Canada and uh, the only one I was able to find was uh, there's two on eBay for shipping and parts it was $500 about uh, and then I found one through one through the local wrecking yard I tried several different wrecking yards but there's one through a wrecking yard it's going to be shipped up from Oregon so this thing is like scarce <laughs> Anyway, um, on home, and then hopefully I'll have some time to uh, van build today because whew, this weekend uh, didn't allow for that. So gotta get uh, gotta get to it. A couple of things I've been meaning. Oh shoot, I'm making a wrong turn, so I have to go all the way around the roundabout. Oh, this is embarrassing. Uh, a couple of things I've been meaning to uh, talk to you guys about. Number one, video quality. I have learned that it's not just us. Okay, and what I mean by that is. Angie and I sometimes will watch a video, especially memorable ones like camping or go-karting or whatever. And we just thought that it was our Chromecast, which is crap, which it is. But uh, Laura brought it to our attention the other day that sometimes even she's watching videos and especially the fast paced stuff is uh, grainy or not grainy, but pixelated. Are you guys having that same problem? Long and short of it, I'm doing something different. The video, every video since the go-kart video, which was what, a week ago, has been rendered in a higher quality so that YouTube will assign it a higher value. And yes, YouTube does, uh, is prejudiced against channels that have higher viewership, bigger channels. They will give them higher video, um, uh, uh, not access, but they, they allow for better videos. So that's number one. Have you guys noticed the difference? Is it better now? Uh, number two, audio in the truck, in the van, sorry. I call it a truck, it's a van. Um, is it better now? I'm actually shouting right now because I have a, a, a loud voice, but Apparently in the van, the audio sucks in here too. If ever you guys have an issue with video or um, audio quality, like audio levels are off, let me know. As long as, maybe not audio part of it, but video part of it, try it on a different device before you say, hey, that video looked like crap. Try it on a different device first uh, just to see if it's your device. That way I'm not chasing ghosts or chasing my tail. Someone's burning garbage, it stinks. Ugh. Um, 
So anyway, uh, I was not planning on having an afternoon appointment. We've already picked Phoenix up and he's back home and we are uh, going out on a, a later appointment because you know, when the money's there, you gotta go. You just gotta do it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just doing it. So here we are. The work day is over. I am so happy right now. Woo! All right, gonna head home. Still trying to complete something on the van today. Even if I cut one piece of wood. Dude, you just had your right turn signal on and you took a left-hand turn. You are confused. Well, that's some pretty stuff. No, not the yellow light. Clouds in the sky. And look at that. All those apartments there on the left, those are all brand new buildings. I mean, obviously, they're being built. So I don't know why they call them buildings. Well, oh, no, actually, no, they are buildings because they're not built yet. Anyway, uh, dad joke central here. Anyway, there used to be a, a big... Uh, dilapidated building off to the right it used to be kind of like a uh, garage and a small strip mall but uh no no they got all those apartments going in there now more people people need to start having fewer kids the world is becoming overpopulated just my two cents you can see the uh, sunlight in the tips of the trees so i'm pretty sure that we are going to take this corner right here and it's going to be a pretty sunset all right wow sunset at ooh 624 wow ooh, look at that of course the gopro tries to light up everything in the foreground and it leaves everything in the background and makes it like look white that actually looks yellow that's a yellow sunset any better now now that it's like taking up most or some of more of the frame most of some of more of the frame can't speak today i'm done working so that's my excuse guess what guys i didn't do anything else in the van today i was supposed to get a headlight today and it never showed up i have to figure out i have to figure out where it's at we're playing clip wars no oh, you know it's Oh no, you know what's serious when the socks come off. <laughs> okay, in case anybody doesn't know, we all start off with four clothes pins attached to the back of our shirts. Those are the clips. We set a predetermined amount of time, and then at the end of that time, there are no bases. So Phoenix's base is there, Angie's base is in there. My base is up, what are you doing? Is over here. Uh, you can't uh, guard a base. But you can't stay on your base for too long either. Angie, take our bases, Angie. And then after the first uh, allotment of time is over, <laughs> wow, you're highly decorated with all your clips. Uh, after that first amount of time is gone, then the last amount of time. <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> oh, you got one! Dang it! Uh, the last amount of time. Oh, I dropped one. Oh no, it broke. Oh no, no time. What are you doing? Okay, uh, the last amount of time is uh, no basis. <laughs> <laughs> so he's on his base. I should have grabbed hers, but I gotta fix mine. So that's that's the gist of the game. Whoever winds up with the most clips at the end wins. All right, we're transitioning to another game. I won. No, you did not. Did we tied. What'd you have? Two, four, six. Two, four, oh. six. I don't think we've ever tied before. I don't think we've ever tied before, and I don't think Phoenix has ever fully lost before. He had, he had none. He usually wins. Yeah, he does. And so. He just gave up because <laughs> couldn't get them coming, so I was like, ah, screw it, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, sometimes like when somebody has absolutely no clips, that's actually kind of the best time because nobody wants, nobody's chasing you, and you're chasing everybody else. What is that? Put that into the Sky Joe rule book. Or into the Sky Joe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Blah. It's right here. I got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The game that stinks. The game that stinks? It stinks. What does it smell like? Buffy, we've been sitting on the game again. Buffy. Smell it. It stinks. It, smell, it doesn't smell like me. What does it smell like? Sniff it. Oh, God. It smells like Parker Brothers. 
<laughs> it stinks. Yeah, it doesn't like it smell. It actually stinks. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure what it is, like some kind of weird adhesive or... Uh, it's not a good smell. Uh, I didn't work You've been watching Beyond 1031. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you really want to know when the videos come out, be sure to push that notification bell.